beach man with a broken heart had his prayers answered just in time for Valentine's Day. News to reporter Kofo Lasaki has the story. Heartbreak can be tough. After a while, you know, you, you think about what you can and can't do. But for Matt Farrell, it was almost deadly. You know, you can't look too far ahead. That was Matt's new normal after he found out his heart was failing. We just got to continue to pray, you know, hope for the best and and just be just, you know, take it one step at a time. They were much slower steps now. How am I going to live my life with this thing? At 34 years young, Matt needed a heart pump to keep him alive, but that didn't stop him from living. My focus was more on the kids than myself. He coached high school basketball through it all. When I took the focus off myself and put the focus on them, that really, you know, that really got me through it because I didn't, I didn't want to think, woe is me. But eight years after Matt was given a heart pump, things got worse. Matt needed to be moved to the top of the transplant list after his heart pump clotted for the second time. This, this is really happening. And then I just let it sink in. I just sat silent the rest of the night until it was time to go in. That was Matt's reaction when his doctors at Sentara Hospital told him he'd have a new heart in no time. That was the first time uh, I asked Dr. Barron if I could listen to my new heart. My family got me through this. You know, my, my, uh, my basketball community got me through this. You know, and God got me through this. In Norfolk, Kofa Lasaki, News 3. February is also American Heart Month. You can help save lives by registering to be a donor online. You can also register anytime you update your license at DMV. On a